So in this module, we're going to cover how to actually start up a new project, and we're actually going to do it in a couple different ways. Uh, the important thing to realize is that when you first open up Visual Studio, this is the screen you're greeted with, a start page and the standard Visual Studio environment. You'll notice that nothing's populated other than that main window. We're actually going to ignore that window because for some reason it might be disabled or just not there for whatever. Um, so we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. So we're going to say File, New, Project. Now the first thing you want to make sure is that the Visual C Sharp um, button down here is selected. You want to make sure it's nothing else, um, unless you're going into later on things in the course, with it, in which case you might have X and A. But in this case, just Visual C Sharp is just fine. Now for the basic programming in this course, we're only ever going to open up two different types of applications. A Windows Forms application, which is your standard Windows program or a console application, which is a text-based program. So we're going to start off with a simple one, which is a Windows Form application. So we're going to select it. And the next thing we need to do before we go anywhere else is we're going to browse to a folder to save it in. So right now I just have it saving in my Demos folder, and that's fine. But I'm going to create a new folder right now, and I'm just going to call this Test. So I'm going to hit my Select Folder. So I can see that it's going to store it on this drive, the D drive in demo slash test. And yours, you're going to want to make sure that this is browsing directly to your USB flash drive. If you try and store it on the computer itself, you're going to run into problems when you try and actually run the program. Um, the next thing you need to do, and very, very importantly, is you need to name your project. This name should be descriptive of what you are planning to do. So for this case, all I'm doing is I'm demoing a form application. So I'm going to call this demo form app. And notice the naming structure I'm using. Every single word is capitalized on the first letter and there's no spaces. Spaces are always a bad idea whenever you're naming anything when it comes to programming and computers. So if you can avoid them, do so. And the easiest way to do that is just to capitalize each word and it allows you to separate those words without the need of spaces. So I have everything set up. I'm just going to hit OK, and you'll see Visual Studio do the hard work of actually creating it. Creating project, demo form app. And as soon as we build it, we're introduced to this screen right here. And you see we have our little window up on the top here. We have our Solution Explorer up and running. We have our Properties panel up and running. And the first thing that you are going to do every time you create a project is rename that form. So I'm going to select the form. I can come down here to file name and I can name it here or I can just select it again in here and it'll highlight it. What I need to make sure is that .cs stays there. I can't get rid of that. That is a requirement. Now in Visual C Sharp and Visual Studio, um, whenever we're going to rename a visual element such as a form or a button or whatnot, we give it a prefix, so a starting three letters to indicate what type of visible item that is. In this case, it's a form. So the three letter prefix we're going to start this with is FRM. And now we've got to give it some descriptive name of what we plan on doing this. So this is just a demo. So I'm just going to call it FRM Demo. Notice that the FRM is all lowercase and the next word following it is uppercase. Now if I want to add in more word like demo app, you'll notice that each word is uppercase other than that first prefix in the beginning. Now watch what happens when I click enter. It's going to ask me, you are renaming a file. Would you like to also perform a rename in this project of all references to the code element form one? The answer is yes. Essentially this is like changing your name in real life. If you don't tell everybody that your name has changed and somebody tries to call you by your old name, you're not going to realize they're talking to you. We want to do the same thing here. We're going to change the name of the file and tell the entire project that we are doing that. It's like a notification to everybody and everything that from now on, call this file FRM Demo App. So definitely click Yes there. And you'll see that it's been modified here and it's modified up in the tab view up here. Now from here, that's it we've created a project. From here we'll go on and we'll start doing other things, but this is a basic Windows Form project. Is there a difference between this and a console project? A little bit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create another project, File, New, Project. And this time we're going to select Console. And again, uh, we're just going to keep it in the test, and this time we're just going to call it Console 
demo app, give it a, a unique name, hit OK, it's still in the right folder. Um, do we want to save? Sure, we'll save. I forgot to save previously. So you'll notice in this program, there is no Windows form because this is a text-based program. We don't have to worry about any of this. You'll also notice that we're working in program.cs. That is because in these console-based programs, all of your work is done in this file until we get to later on portions of the course, which we'll get to later. Um, but for now, you'll notice that everything is inside of program.cs. So there's no need to add any buttons or any fancy stuff like that. We're just going to do all of our work right here. And that is it. That is how to create a new project inside of Visual Studio 2012.